You're not fucking Bono. Sit down in the chair. I that's assume Bono. Bono that's how get... Bono starts his shows. As he runs up in high fives. Yeah. <laughs> I know one thing about Bono. Woo, I assume Bono doesn't get winded. <laughs> Randy Crowd. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey guys. <laughs> I loaded up my computer to uh, get the get the Yahoos ready. Get the Yahoo oven preheated to 350. Uh, <laughs> Travis, you want to tell me what uh, popped up as soon as I typed in my password? Uh, that would be Reba McIntyre's fancy. That's right. <laughs> on Spotify Premium. Just playing he, my, he knows what my you need. He's making the best use of it, jam. too. Whew, I just got Whew. super nervous all of a sudden. Are Let you guys going to be cool or are you going to be dicks? Are you guys cool? I don't know which one I don't was. know. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. I'm a sweet baby brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> And we're done. And we're done. Thanks for listening, everybody. I'm the sweet baby brother Griffin. No, I would. That'd be a tight stinger. Every time we said dope shit, it'd be like. That was our outro music. We'll do a show first, and then we'll just try. (laughs) We'll come back around. We'll come back around. Don't worry. Keep keep the finger on the button though, because you don't know. Because if it starts to go bad, we are. We will fucking eject. Uh, that, let that be a warning to you. Uh, Hello, not? Los Angeles. Hi, yeah. Los Angeles. Sorry, we haven't we haven't been to you in a while. I guess we haven't been to Los Angeles proper like ever. We we we've performed a couple times at like Arrowhead, which is LA adjacent. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's like five hours away, so not like super adjacent. Depending on people fall. here hate Lake Arrowhead. Who is booing? It's like the Boo, best. beautiful artificial lakes on the top of mountains. No, thank you. Ooh, it's perfect, and just like I imagine heaven to be. Uh. They give you free lots of bacon. There's always um, bacon up there. Is, is anybody else here living in mortal terror of the fact that the Los Angeles Kings just won the Stanley Cup? And Oh, sorry, spoilers, I guess. Were you waiting? Uh, no, I mean, it's not going to be a spoiler. You're going to cross the threshold of this building, and it's going to be a nuclear wasteland outside. You're like, oh, I guess we won. Sweet. Except my, you know, my entire neighborhood's destroyed, but uh, everything else is totally sweet. I, I am not worried as much about hockey fans riding. They seem like a polite, <laughs> I guess that's a good they seem like a polite kind of chilled out people to me. They're just so happy people are paying attention. Oh, I forgot to. <laughs> Griffin's got to slam his other I need, I need my gummy berry juice. <laughs> so, but uh, between, <laughs> between the World Cup happening and the LA Kings winning, somewhere there is a man with very specific sports taste who's very happy tonight. <laughs> who really feels like the superstar. Like, finally. Oh, you know go. what? This feels like the start of something. I think we're finally going to get the attention we deserve. So this is a, um, is it, raise your hand. Is there anybody here for the first time who's never listened never to our program? Never heard the show before. That's awesome. Cool. Fantastic. Thanks well, for welcome it. to you. You're wearing a My Brother, My Brother, Me t-shirt. How did I, that happen? I'm fucking into that. What the fuck is your poser? poser. We're going to get him up here later, and I want to learn some I things it. about that man. I, <laughs> I want to unfold his story. Yeah, I, did it when I, I did it when I saw live for the first time, so don't feel bad. I got to show that live. I wish I'd seen live. That was bullshit. This is you our, know what I was going to say? I was going to say an actual concert I've been to, which is Dave Matthews' band. But, uh, you know I was into that. <laughs> no lie. Uh, so this is an advice show where we take your questions, your queries, uh, and turn them Acme-like into wisdom. Uh, we might have some questions from the audience here, so if you uh, want to try to cook something up in your head that is real and a problem, we can and fix not for you. Bummer. Not a bummer. Not they a bummer, so down. help me God. <laughs> No, we bummer. are nice people. Talk we to are. us about. Uh, we'll, we'll answer your bummer questions off the air. I guess fun party, um, <laughs> but uh, not on the show. And no, no, like don't have many jokes about poop and stuff. No poop jokes. No poop. Those are for us. Those are for not us for only. Uh, that, those, need, those are for adults only. And they're for comedy adults only, and they need to be handled carefully with uh, precision. So you're not ready for that. Trust us. Uh, Travis, how about a question? Okay, great. I don't, I, these were also asked by people here, correct? Yeah, I believe be, so. Let's see. This is. Oh, I won't read the. I won't read the person because it's the tagline. I have a lot of vivid, weird dreams that more often than not contain people in my day-to-day life. Naked, some, and they're like on top of me and cool stuff. 
That's un- it's implied, right? Yeah. Okay. In my day-to-day life, doing something I think is worth mentioning to them. My question is this. Is it socially acceptable to tell people that I've dreamt about them or say you were in my dream last night or will I be giving everyone I know the willies by doing this? And that's from I've even done it to Justin. Woof. <laughs> Hachimachi. You know, we try do you to want to raise your hand if you're here and you did this? We you did try this to terrible, keep... terrible thing? I don't see a hand. Somewhere in the void? Can you howl? Like, like, no, oh. no, no, it's no, better don't do this that. way. It's better. Could you come down and explain your dream about Justin? It's way in better. In graphic detail. It's way better for the podcast if I have to do than if I don't know what you look like and I know you're just out there waiting. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's super cool for my stress levels. I appreciate it. That way, I can look at every face and wonder, is it them? <laughs> And then look at some other faces and think, well, maybe it's them. <laughs> Very flattering. There, All right. is, there is no level of innocuousness of the subject matter of your dream. It could just be like, me, you, and Alf eating a hot dog. <laughs> and, well, then, and then I would immediately think, and then we had a crazy Alf three-way, and it was totally <laughs> awesome. That was the part of the dream that you didn't tell me about, but I know that you dreamt about fucking me and Alf at the same time. Yeah. Because here's the problem. As soon as you broach the subject, you were in my dream last night. Right. The person hears we had a wob- fucking me. We had a wobbly H with Alf, <laughs> and it was totally great. It was a lowercase H. Two, <laughs> having sex with Alf. Two in the snout, and one's left out. <laughs> Yikes. Sex with Alf. I want you guys to know there's a joke Two in the snout, no cow- time to pout. Have some sex with Alf. That's a new teen trend. It's called shumweighing. <laughs> um, yeah. Yikes. Um, no, fucking of no. course not. Under no circumstances, there's a re- no. That, there's a reason that dreams only happen in your head, and it's because it's for you. It's an yeah. you well, unless you're Travis. Travis, tells a, you tell a lot. I my love dreams you, are my brother. fucking awesome. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. Yeah. <laughs> totally. No, they, yeah, totally. Like, totally, um, totally, like, totally. Like, sure. I remember a lot of them... Just because of the like the great stories that go on in there, and that beautiful head of yours, all the great, great dream stories. If any of you want to hear my dreams later, just Don't let me know. F- uh, how about a Yahoo? Yahoo answer? Did That's we it? fucking That's answer that? Fucking like, it? Hey, Cooper, keep your shit to yourself. I mean, it's not answer. acceptable. It's, it I know it's not creepy. I know you're not dreaming. I haven't sex with him. That's what people are going to think. It implies it implies intimacy, No question. No, it's inappropriate. Don't ever do ever. it. Ever. Just don't. Just stop dreaming. Stop. Stop dreaming. Let your dreams die. I'm 33. It ain't hard, gang. Come yeah. on. <laughs> uh, this Yahoo uh, was sent it. This is who was sent in by Drew Davenport, who is here tonight. Drew Davenport, come up. Woo-hoo! Get the fuck up here. Drew Davenport, stand up and come to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen. Fucking keep it going. I want five uninterrupted minutes of applause. Come, come here. Up. Get the fuck Get over here. Get up. Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Let that Davenport. Man through. An emerald level Yahoo answer shaman. Finally. Yes. This is what it sounds like when doves cry. Drew, thank you so much for saving our program time and time again. He's, he's a lot taller than I thought he was going to be. Man, if I was as tall as you, Drew, I would have no time for looking for answers. I'd be too busy beating ass. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> give it up for Drew fucking Davenport. Yeah, Drew You're Davenport. all on notice. Wind beneath my wings. Drew Davenport. Drew Goddamn. Davenport. Drew Davenport. If it weren't for Drew Davenport, the production time that I would put into this show would be like like 20 minutes more a week. and that, But that's a lot. That's, that's a lot, lot for me. If Thank you, you. If you're listening at home, he was eight feet tall. He was <laughs> eight feet if he was an inch. Yeah. As broad as a bull. We, uh, there's a service it's called sexual. Yahoo Answers, and we dig into it. Uh, for you three new people. And by, by we, no, I'm going to keep talking to them. I want to win them over. Your business I have. I want to win the new business. Uh, uh, we... we uh, try to answer them to the best of our abilities. When I say we find them, I mean Drew Davenport. Yeah, <laughs> Almost exclusively. Almost exclusively Drew Davenport uh, finds thank them. Thank you, Drew Davenport. Uh, this Yahoo answer was asked by a suspended account. <laughs> Why were they suspended, you asked? How could I make wee bowling sexy? So my girlfriend and I have a habit of trying to make simple, everyday Aww. things into s- r- something remotely sexy. So, like, they're not trying super hard. No, yeah. Like, well, really our bar is yeah. low. You're making that grilled cheese, so why don't you get a bowl out? <laughs> <laughs> why 
Yeah, sure. Uh, does anyone My checkbook's have... looking mighty balanced. Does anyone have uh, any clue how we can make something like we bowling sexy? Also, I do realize this is a ridiculous question. That they should just like fucking have like a like a, a, a some sort of script on Yahoo Answers that immediately puts that at the bottom of everybody's <laughs> question. I so that's about putting Doritos in your butt. Like, yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Could you, uh, what about this? I got an answer. Sexy we bowling. What if you mm. play we bowling? Oh yeah. Okay. Damn. With I, your balls out. No, no, okay. No. Stop. <laughs> Don't fucking salt my game, Travis. <laughs> you play Wii Bowling, and while you're playing it... Mm. Put the kids to bed. Put the kids, the kids to bed. Sh- 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 right in sleepy town. Play, you play Wii Bowling. Here comes... Here comes the sex. Uh, quiet, quiet. Shit. While you're playing it... What are you doing? You have sex. <laughs> He's so that bad. is gonna throw off your handicap. <laughs> yeah, no question about it. Whoa, Too whoa. hot for TV. Sorry. Keep that. A bowling handicap? It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. I guess. Like bumpers. <laughs> we had... You're bumping something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Genitals. It's like your like your genitals. Yeah. Genitals. Yeah. Exclusively. Genitals. Like That's what genitals. we doing. Talking about your genitals. Yeah. You're bumping your genitals. Uh, uh, I saw some rocket lube being tossed around. That would probably be integral. Well, but I mean, you gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. You'll throw yeah, you'll right smash that hand. TV to yeah. fucking bits. There's nothing sexy about breaking your television. That'll kill the mood. When you're doing that, though, do you use protection? By which I mean, use the Wiimote wrist strap. On your wiener? No, on your fucking wrist, Travis. <laughs> you fucking degenerate. No. No, I, no, listen, I said degenerate, but I'm not here to pass judgment. If you like no, him, it's, you listen. like him twerked, you like him squeezed, you like him worked, whatever, it pleases. You like him wemoted, I guess? You like, uh, okay, I guess. I'm trying to be really accepting. It's my new thing for 2014. Sorry, 2013. No, sorry. 2014? 20 forward. There we go. Yeah, that was a test to find the true fans. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a motto we've really subscribed to. Can and I, yeah, well, we did a, some live shows this year. We've been doing good I guess that's that. true. Can I, I, can I give you a sneak preview? Because I'll forget about it. Sure. What I was thinking for next year. Yeah. 20 spliff team. <laughs> sure. He's so bad. What won't he say? Like drugs? Oh. oh. Okay, gotcha. Yep. How about um, a, a regular, a non Yahoo? Yeah. Okay, great. This one uh, also comes from hopefully someone in the audience. Can we call these Google questions? That might be fun. I mean, they're all Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, let's talk more about web platforms. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Spliff team. Yeah, got it. Read the question. Come on. How do I prepare myself to be robbed? Terrific. <laughs> Yeah, I have many, we should all actually be thinking about this legitimately. <laughs> I have many examples of this, but one time my cousin jumped out of the bushes and scared me. My knees locked and I fell over like a fainting goat. It was very embarrassing. What if this happens when an assailant tries to jump me with a knife? I want to stand my ground and at least seem threatening. How do I get uh, tougher and less scared of people jumping out and surprising me? And that's from neither fight nor flight in the fourth round. Uh, did you actually fucking manage to get in the fourth row? That would... Nailed it! God damn, Nailed that's dedication it. right there. That's nice. Dedication. That's a called shot. Nailed it. Uh, what's your, sorry, what's your name? JP! JP! No, oh, you're fine. See, yeah, you're fine. No, I don't good. think it's as bad as you thought it was going to be. Hey, everybody, if you see JP later after the show, just give him a little spook. Just Ooh, little... that's it. We got to toughen you up. We're going to yeah, toughen yeah. you up. There's immersion therapy. We got to the gauntlet. That's how uh, Daredevil got started. People just kept spooking him and spooking him and spooking him. And, and he then went he went blind. blind. He did he go went blind. He blind from the spooks. Not from, no, it's like Oh, God, I spooked you too hard. <laughs> I spooked you too hard. Your eyeballs. I'm sorry I, about your eyeballs. I'll be your friend forever. My name's Foggy Nelson. Backstory, <laughs> origin, one guy. Thank you, sir. In Daredevil, he's it. I would throw this out, JP. A knife. What? <laughs> Whoa! Look out! Also, I'm I gonna think... fucking break you of saying, "Let me throw this out." Okay, uh, it's the last thing I do. Holy shit! Thank he you. Did, I can't believe. Can we like come up I with some sort issue. of audience response, like some sort of like? Does Greek anyone have chorus? a can full of pennies you can shake at me when I do it? <laughs> no, no can. Um, I was taught by my parents, and I see my brothers were too, that when accosted, 
Make by yourself a potential small. potential robber. Yeah. You seem as non-threatening as possible. Sure. You say, yes, of course, sir. Yes. Here you go. Or madam, let's not be sexist. <laughs> yeah. Sir or madam who is robbing me at this moment, here are all my belongings. Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, please take them. And congratulations. <laughs> this you, is some great stuff. I hope you enjoy I, them more than I You have bested me. <laughs> and, I'll and, be a, listen, I'll be a good sport in this regard. You have... Won this encounter. And let me let My me also congratulate you, you on you, your sir. choice of targets. You have couldn't have. You have better. done very well. And yeah. then you lay on your back and pee all over yourself to show submission. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what can I do better in the future to prevent myself from being such an obvious Here's target? I'm just going to slide this comment card across the table. If you could fill that out before you leave, I appreciate your experience, it. Experience, Ben. Was I was I not robbable, robbable, or very robbable? <laughs> Um, JP, you gotta get Diesel. That's the only, there's the only one kind of person that's not afraid of other people. Drew Davenport. Okay, there's two. Drew Davenport. Drew, Drew Davenport. Lufer, and the Lou Ferrignos of the world, these super Diesel I would fold those two folks. categories sort of in, in together. He's, yeah. He is yeah. Ferrigno You're in Drew scale. Ferrigno. Drew Ferrigno. Drew Ferrigno. Get Drew Ferrigno Diesel. And then no one will mess with you. They'll Except come pick for Lou on. Ferrigno, and then it's just a battle of titans between the two yeah. of you. We actually should, like, if you could not mess up the curve, because we need as many people sort of, like, looking like obvious targets for robbery as possible. Yeah, yeah. It helps us to blend I try to look, in. I try to look so tough. I've only been robbed once, and you could do the tactic which I employed, which worked out, like, super well for me, uh, which is to lie about the things that you have. <laughs> This is it's not, a risky gambit. I will be honest. This is not. This is not. Uh, this is not, not a goof. goof. Uh, Griffin was working at GameStop when he was younger. Guy comes in and says, "Give me all the PS3s you have." Points a gun at Griffin. And, and me, Mister Mister Brand m- loyal to GameStop. I, I see veins. No fucking skin in the game whatsoever. Says we don't have any. <laughs> and. Also, so you know, the only thing protecting this ruse was a door behind Griffin. And which, in said, which, and behind which was a giant pyramid of PlayStation 3. Right. Oh, those PS3. Another right. fun part of that story is I didn't, I wasn't allowed to open the register without making a sale because GameStop had never taught me how. So they said, open the register. And I said, let me get my manager and expose her to this robbery. <laughs> Let me pass along this cool Sunday I'm having and share it with a friend. Come have a portion of my cool Sunday, manager. You know what I, this encounter needs? Witnesses. Yes. I'm out of the Yahoo. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, man, I'm glad I'm not dead. Uh, me too, in a way. Yeah. We never would have been able to do the show. Uh, we would have. It just would have been missing something. Yeah. yeah. This uh, Yahoo is sent in by Nat Steinsaltz, maybe here? I don't know. There's a lot of people who live in Los Angeles. Yeah, no, I guess not. Uh, Thank you, Nat. It's by Yahoo Answers user Romario, who asks, my manager, this is actually not a bad segue, my manager is a female, and she pees so loud. How do I tell her that's annoying? How could that... How often does that come up? How thin are those walls? How... I guess, how close, like, are, you how close are you? Why don't you dismiss yourself from the region? <laughs> Do you work in a food cart? Maybe that's what's going on. You can't get out. Maybe Some... he's a bathroom attendant. <laughs> okay, so wait. Just to be clear. He... <laughs> Whoa, the he's fiction a, was so bad that it gave Justin a... a he's a bathroom thing. attendant who has a boss that comes by just to see just how the attendant... Let me test yeah. and see what you did. Let me ruin your work, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Clean up on aisle me, Robbie. Listen to how loud... <laughs> listen to how hard I can push this out. <laughs> how bad could this possibly be? Whoosh! <laughs> Sploosh! <laughs> 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 Bad enough that he says annoying. Not yeah. like gross or like it makes you go, it's annoying. There like, she goes. God damn it. Fuck. Maybe the, Again? Man- maybe the manager has, Jesus. maybe the manager has like some sort of cool like pee kegels and she can pee out, <laughs> listen, stick with it. And she can now like, we're going somewhere. she can like pee out the rhythm to Gangnam Style. It's like Gangnam Style, <laughs> Gangnam Style, really? It's 2014. <laughs> Kegel another song. I know it's not a jukebox, but you gotta teach that thing another song. See, th- 
She doesn't know where to find another one of those player piano spools. <laughs> Travis liked it. I don't know. I love that joke. That was a good I joke. I don't know why you guys. Travis liked it. That's all I care about. The physiology, I guess. Um, I don't understand how, why you would stay close by. Just you know what's going to happen. I mean, well, maybe it's like looking at a car accident. Like he doesn't want you, to. Yeah. There are a lot like, of variables. I've got a timer. See how fast you can get done today. A lot of variables Ooh, to play. Shaved off three seconds. Sure. We're talking about distance to the toilet. We're talking about thickness of the walls of the toilet zone. We're talk- and we're talking, to be fair, like, let's give this guy the benefit of the doubt, the general loudness of, of this it's manager's like decibel level. Like, whole, like, wow. Like, <laughs> like, since around. Like, holy shit. I feel like all you have to do, and it would take a bolder man than me, but to, when she comes out, be like, hey. Hey, can are we? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about you. This could be the start of the worst moonlighting style will they won't they I've ever heard. We've been dancing around this for a while. Listen, you pee real you pee loud. You pee super so loud. loud though. It's really loud and really short. Like, like it just like like just a like it stop. falls do, do, out do, of do, you. Do, do, done. It sa- it sounds like somebody overturning a bucket. Yeah. And I'm worried about you. And then you come out real wobbly legs. Yeah. yeah. And you're frowning, but kind of laughing. <laughs> I ha- and I hear the other thing about it. I hate it. I hate it so. I hate when it much. happens in the bucket noise, darling. I hate it, darling. You're Can the you worst just... manager, but this is the best job. And frankly, I can't fall asleep without that noise anymore. So I guess. <laughs> I, I guess. I guess uh, what I'm saying to answer your question, Reverend, I do. <laughs> <laughs> how about a how about a regular? I need a minute. How about a normie? You all right? I can read it. I'll read it. I'll give me the pad. Thank you. I'm sure. I just pictured her peeing at the altar. <laughs> goof goof so hard I broke Travis. Um, oh Jesus! Dear brothers, ice cream trucks never pass where I live ever. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> this is a problem. All right, ice truck. Ice cream trucks never pass where I live, ever. Today, I heard one outside, and I booked it out the door. He was driving away from me, but I finally caught up with him. Well done. Good work. When those, I bought- things, those things don't drive especially fast, if I remember <laughs> yeah, correctly, you know. but still kudos to you, I suppose. Faster than human land speed. I you, guess. You earned your dilly bar. Uh, when I bought my... I- How old am I? How, when I bought my ice cream, the ice cream guy just gave me this incredulous face and seemed to be annoyed that a 20-ish year old would be so excited. What's your, you know your age, right? I'm guessing. Yeah, but like I the was ice cream, left on a doorstep. He's it's good storytelling. He's not like uh, uh, forcing omnipotence and omniscience onto uh, the ice cream truck driver. Uh, 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 would be so excited about an ice cream truck. Am I too old to be excited about ice cream trucks, or was the ice cream guy just a downer? And that's from Vexed in Ventura. Question for you, audience. Vexed in Ventura, are you here? Hey, welcome. Hey. Um, how, if you're an ice cream driver and it's 2014 and you're in L.A., how good is business that you can fucking get judgy on people? Oh, I don't know. It feels like you should go, do you want anything else? Yeah. Please? That, let's, here, please. let's do a quick yeah, Also, can poll. you think of anything else cold that I could sell? Because I'm dying <laughs> I'm here. I'm fucking broke. Out. Let's do a quick poll of the audience. Cause this is interesting. In the last, let's say, three months. Has anybody seen an ice cream truck that was stationary and selling its product to anybody? Just a quick show of hands, stationary. Okay, more than I thought. Better I, question. Better question. I know, I'll be the first to admit that no. I fucked up with my judgment. I haven't seen a stationary ice cream. Every time it's just like slowly crawling at five miles an hour, it's like, Any, anybody? And I'm not talking, by the way, I want to clarify, I'm not talking about a food truck. No, no, no. Ice. You know what I'm talking ice, about. Ice cream. I'm not talking about artisanal, like, it's got avocados in it. And That's I what you sound like, food truck drivers, I guess. Take I don't know that. what the ice cream truck uh, like environment is like here, but I know what it's like in Cincinnati. When you see said ice cream trucks, is the paint peeling and the pictures faded, and it looks like they just killed and sometimes they've got, And sometimes they've got like Pikachu on it, and it's like, hey, guys, um, let me just like call Nintendo real quick. Yeah, you didn't like go through the right fucking channels to get... <laughs> Fucking Pikachu to sell your iced wares? I would 
I would feel uncomfortable. And only because I would be so worried that I would come up from vector A yeah. and sort of like in my periphery, out of nowhere would be a kid on vector B and we would arrive at the same time. And you would force the issue like, I was here first. Uh, you know, I was here first, right? Hold would, on. I we got, just, sorry, would, gents, we got one push pop left. Looks would, like you're going to have to wrestle for it. Sweet. I would just, you're really little and I'm really big. <laughs> you just want to give it to me? <laughs> I would, t- I would grab their head and just push it below the window so the guy couldn't see them until I was done <laughs> purchasing my novelties. Have you guys noticed that the only people on fucking earth that call them novelties at the grocery store? That used to confuse the hell out of me when I was a kid. What's a novel? Just say ice cream shit. We all know what you're talking about. <laughs> you don't have to get fucking fancy, Kroger. You sell Big K. Don't fuck with me. Uh, do you want another novelties. Yahoo? Novelties. Do you know not a Yahoo question? Little Yahoo, uh, um, I, Yahoo Nights Mystery. I actually just had something pop up in Don't. my head that I want to do. No, 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 no. Ah! Um, so we were we were supposed to have some merch, and it didn't come. And so I wrote um, a little apology and an explanation <laughs> as to why the merch wasn't here, and I would like to read it for you now. <laughs> Sorry that there is no merch tonight. Here's what happened. We ordered a slushy amount of the jankiest stuff. Posters, tote bags, banana hammocks, boners, frosted nuts, everything. But the shipment was delayed by a flock of slurping sponges. Those jiving butts got in front of the bodacious penis hat filled with our merch. Merch that was supposed to go to you, our moist puppies. So from the bottom of our nipples, we apologize. Love the pickled McElroy brothers. Thank you. The funny, the th- the funny thing about listening to that, A, nothing. B, <laughs> do you notice how no one was really like, there was sort of an initial like, uh, Hi, this is going to be so great. great. And then like, fucking nothing from you. The au- Remember how you didn't laugh at all for the past 45 seconds? <laughs> it's not funny. I will be signing copies of this later. The one he has. The and one I have. And others he can scribble I out. I did for a you. fun gag where, like, I like slam my beer. Like, oh, this makes you so mad. I'm gonna slam my beer. But I don't have any beer left, and we just started. <laughs> Ahem. Just, give me some of your Angry Orchard, Justin. Here, okay. Give me sure. a half a pour, maybe. Yeah, I'll give Thank you. Half. How about a Yahoo? This is good radio. Uh, Yahoo. Listen, I can't go on. Uh, this Yahoo was sent in by Josh Williams. Josh, are you here? If anybody wants to bring us another beer, no, you don't. Want. I don't want to do that. No, no but no, one don't, at a time, but... please. No, I'm just um, don't do that. Thank you, Josh. It's by Yahoo Answers user Super Tiffster who asks, "I need extremely dirty truth or dares." <laughs> <laughs> Every time I pick a Yahoo, or rather, Josh Williams or Drew Davenport sends Yahoo to me, uh, I always hope like. Is this going to be the next Warrior Cats? Uh, I think this one might. Oh, no potential. Uh, we can never think of any help. That's yeah. fine. Kind of uh, basic, listen, not a lot we there. Could, we, could do, we could do a few. Uh, I'm not as interested in that as I am about what the helpful, <laughs> the helpful folks on Yahoo Answers. Oh, that's funny that you say that because uh, <laughs> Yahoo Answers user Big Wave Girl 2006 <laughs> uh, has a few helpful suggestions. Uh, it's worth pointing out, this user is definitely, definitely suspended. <laughs> Holy shit. To like the ninth level of Yahoo hell. Uh, I'm not making this up. This is the actual order in which these were uh, sent in. Number one, truth questions. Number one, ask a girl, if she were a guy, which girl in the room she would date? Do the same to a guy. Okay. All right. Sure. Interesting. Number two. Do you swallow or spit? <laughs> That's for girls, for boys. What's the fastest you have C-U-M? What the fuck? You this just game jumped from, escalated. Who would you date in the room to? How fast do you come, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> no, not just how fast. What's the fastest? Not the average. 
don't want a mean. Speech. I don't want a median of come times. I want to know the, the peak of the what curve. What do you clock out at? <laughs> I want to know your curve breaking come times. <laughs> That's what I need. I want to know what's breaking the bell curve of your ejaculate. And then way over here, off the line, 30 seconds. <laughs> Interesting. Is this an outlier? I don't know, Malcolm. Is it? <laughs> Do you come? Uh, how about number 17? Have you ever skinny dipped? Okay, okay good. That's fine. Number 25. Which guy playing do you think has the longest penis? <laughs> Those are or, actually kind of connected. Like, well, let me find out. Well, let's, let's, let's do 17. 25 will be uh, answered very quickly. <laughs> or, which girl do you think would give the best BJ? Cool, big wave girl, cool! <laughs> which girl do you think would give the best <laughs> BJ? Seems so, like... <laughs> I'm going to go with Susan. She's just a hard worker. Seems like she'd really commit. <laughs> She'd uh, give it her all. I worked with her on a science project last year, and she did not give up till it was done. I'm gonna go with Susan. Ladies, can I just... Sorry, Lydia. Ladies, can I just ask everybody uh, 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 sitting in the circle to just yodel for me? <laughs> okay, interesting. Oh, some surprises here. I'm gonna have to go to the leaderboard. This is a great one. Let's go to the leaderboard, Mo. He gets a piece of that radical rock. Okay, guts. Let's talk about guts. Uh, how about number 11? <laughs> who, who, who has the biggest ball you've ever seen? <laughs> Left or right does not matter. There's a lot of nuance to this, to number 11, because they add funny since it can be told literally, but someone will take it sexually. I could be talking about a medicine ball. <laughs> You couldn't! Not in a bajillion years could you be doing that. But God, how badly do you want to play Truth or Dare with that guy? Or they, wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, do you funny. mean genitals or medicine ball? Point okay. of order. Just want to clarify. Super quick point of order. Because what if somebody in this circle had one ascended ball and one crazy huge descended <laughs> ball? Like, wow! Like, wowzers! Like, wow! Like, an egg yolk in there. Like, wow! Like, crazy. An egg yolk? Yeah, because it would be like, you know, you look at an egg yolk and it's just like one thing sort of suspended in another thing. I tried to think of something more organic. Yeah, than that. but, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff right there. What is, what's your name? Because this is like the fourth drink that you've bought for, for, for us. What's your name? Here we go. Here it comes. I'm Jenny and that's John. Jenny, Jenny and John. John. Famous Bad forever. Asses. They saved the jokes. Get the goof juice flowing. Um, well done. It is. What is harder than watching a guy slam a cider? <laughs> Nothing. I would crush this on my head, but it's tall. You know what would happen then. I get lacerations. You want to jump to dares? Number yes. 17, yeah. play one round in your underwear. Cool. Number 23, <laughs> stick your finger in your ass and then lick it. Ah! What in the... No, 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 no. Big wave sick. girl, go fuck yourself. I would like to go back to truth. Uh, I regret Stick asking. Stick your finger in your ass and then call your mom and apologize, you terrible person. We don't. We didn't even invite you, Deborah. That seems like how to end a truth or dare game. I dare you to put your finger in your butt. Oh God damn it, Steve! Oh. Are you gonna do it? No, that was me leaving. But now I feel on the spot. They pay like they they pay like twenty five dollars. <laughs> How much would you pay to watch a grown man? How much would you Wait, pay? Wait, don't, don't 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 answer. We're gonna that. hold you motherfuckers hostage. How much would you pay to not let my brother <laughs> lick his butt? <laughs> Guys, I'm save gonna, me for myself. He's a broken I'm man. Credit where credit is due. These are fucking extremely <laughs> dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Number 21, masturbate into a shot glass. Real thing someone said on Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo, masturbate into a shot glass for me. I don't know much, Griffin, but is there not a second half of that there? Number th <laughs> Why would you, okay. Nope, nope, no, 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 no
fuck? My issue with the question answer is not that they did not generate some extremely dirty truth or dares. It's a question of editing. Once you've created these masterpieces of dirty truth or dare, how do you leave something like, who would you like to kiss? I, the problem with the great, you know, what separates a good super dirty truth or dare creator from a great super dirty truth or dare creator is being able to separate your wheat from your chaff. I try to I dare that. you to separate your wheat from your separate chaff. Separate your wheat from your chaff. And then lick it. And then lick it and let us watch. No others? I mean, there's, there's fucking 60 of them. <laughs> and they keep jumping back and forth to, like, kiss whoever you want in the room to. Number 30. This one's a partner dare. Have a blowjob race. <laughs> Fuck! I'm picking the guy who I think is going to come fastest. Get over here, 30-second Jake. This is a different game. This, this is truth or dare or eyes wide shut. <laughs> we love it. We what love a, LA. It's we true. Love it. It's true. Oh my god, are you okay? Oh no. The mutation has started much earlier than we expected. <laughs> hey. Hey everyone. Justin, I hope you're welcome to, welcome Thank back you. to the podcast. This is the first time I've done anything sort of that even resembles uh work or well not work. I what is it, contributing to society in other ways than like forming the next great generation? Yeah, yeah. Of humanity. What generation is your baby in? Has it, is it like? Are we up to like Omega? She's thirty-two bit. Epsilon. Okay. <laughs> your baby. Your baby. Do it. Nintendo. Don't. Is that you're saying? <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying. You are not ready. Is sure. what I'm saying. Uh, person. Uh, listen. Just because we, uh, I'm not here, doesn't mean I don't need money. I have a mouth to feed. And uh, you know what? I'm going to be feeding my baby. What That's that? right. Nature box. She is not ready for. I'm just saying, she, Nature Box I'm, offers a delicious catalog of delicious, healthy foodstuffs. She's probably not ready to chew down on some dark cocoa almonds. I think you're not ready. Cause I am. Not I have teeth. Enough. I have human adult teeth. Oh, but you don't like a lot of sugar, and you don't like trans fats, and you don't like high fructose corn syrup. That's well, all what true. If I, okay. Then you're ready for Nature Box. They've got delicious snacks. Uh, that you go on, you pick the ones that look good to you. They have, I mean, an insane amount of of different varietals, varietals of snacks. Are any of them pre-chewed? Like, don't get me wrong, peanut butter nom noms, delicious. Baked sweet potato fries, fuck yes. But your baby's not going to be able to enjoy these in the way that they're meant to be enjoyed for another okay. like three years or so. Okay, I'm going to hit you with a few that they have. Okay, and you can tell me if it's appropriate for the baby. Okay, uh, baked sweet potato pr- fries. No. Um, uh, yogurt covered pretzels. Ab- oh, actually, that one, yeah. Okay, that babies. Okay. Babies love pretzels. Breast milk guzzlers. That sounds. Actually, that sounds all right. That um, one would be okay. If you can, I order those. Do, can I order those, or am I going to be put on some sort of watch list? Uh, if you go to naturebox.com, you can get fifty percent off of your first month's box. You go to naturebox.com slash my brother. This, that that is the key thing. You can't get that original address. You go to naturebox.com slash my brother, all one word, and you can get fifty percent off your first month's box. Try them. A ton of our listeners have, and they've really, really liked them. They mm-hmm. re- they very much enjoyed them. We get emails all the time like I'm full and healthy. I'm full and healthy, brothers. Thank you. Um <laughs> once you have managed to get your body f- It's me, the bone man, you the went- favorite <laughs> listener. I'm Adam Sandler of the moment. Well, I live under the ground. I'm the Adam Sandler of the moment. Man, you've just, it's like falling off a log, isn't it, Juice? <laughs> Comedy is easy. <laughs> Parenthood is hard. That's my new book. Me and Irma Baumbecker are co writing it. It's coming out. Dave Barry, Justin McElroy presents. Fuck. Comedy is easy. Parenthood is hard. And on the front, it's me in a smoking jacket, and he's behind me juggling a baby. We are on, we are changing our schedule now. We are only going to record one episode every nine and a half months. You're going to keep having babies, and then we're going to fucking get you on here for that prime material, that prime time. Here's a joke I wrote about fatherhood last night. Okay. I don't know why everybody's in such a hurry to teach their kids to talk, because it makes it so much harder to frame them for farting. That's pretty good. Thanks. That's I'll, I'll be honest. That's about exactly what I expected. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's that's about where I am in my life right now. Um, I guess if you want jokes, maybe better than that, you could probably find them on Hulu. 
um, Hulu Plus to be specific. Um, it's like Hulu. It's like the Hulu you've used on your computer. Only you can do it anywhere, anytime, at your whim, whenever you, you don't don't shackle yourself to your MacBook. Um, you can you can get on your Roku, your Apple TV, your sex box, whatever you want, and just watch Hulu on the go. Um, they got current season episodes of your favorite shows like Modern Family. They got Daily Show with Jon Stewart. They have every episode of shows like South Park, which is only available on Hulu Plus. Um, you can you can do it how you like. Oh fuck, Justin Griffin, I have the best news ever. Tell me, and it's germane to Hulu Plus because that is where I enjoy it. Okay, tell me what about this entertainment you're enjoying. Well, you know how the house has seemed very um empty lately. The house yeah. has seemed hollow. That's what everybody's saying. People are always saying the house seems very hollow, and I think it's just because like for a few months now. There haven't been any boys in the house. Boys in the house. Shit is right back where it needs to be. Cycle 21. Boys are back in the house for America's Next Top Model. Fucking Corey, so tight. He is now a judge. Well, not a judge, but he's like a host. Mm -hmm. He was a super sweet dude who in the first episode, they were like, boys on one side, girls on the other side. Boys pick a girl and walk down the stairs. And he walked towards the girls. He's like, no, this will not do. And he turned around and he got himself a boy. And they walked down the stairs. And, and you're he telling kids. me he's back? He's back and he's a fucking judge. He's a, he's not a judge. He's a host. So like he'll talk to them and be like, oh, man, I've been there. You guys look fucking amazing. He's like super sweet, super supportive. <laughs> anyway, boys, awesome. are, boys are back in the house. Cycle 21. Check it out. Hulu Plus. Um, it's only $7.99 a month. Uh, That's a great deal. It is a good deal. But the better deal is we can get you two weeks free. Two week free trial. It's longer than the usual one week free trial. We're going to give it to you that extra week. Just go to HuluPlus.com slash my brother. Uh, and you'll get that two-week free trial, and it's good for us uh, because they know that we sent you, and they will continue to support my brother, my brother, and me. So it's a and my infant daughter, and and Justin's infant daughter, and my infant niece, same person, same person. It's the same one. Uh, I want to give a, uh, a a very happy message to Johan. It comes from Candace, Chris, Noah, Rachel, and Olivia. Uh, they say, "Hey, Johan, congratulations on finally being legal." We're so proud of you for everything you do in terms of hard work and training, as well as being a stellar guy in general. This fucking sounds like code. This sounds like they're hinting around some secret government skunk works. Are they black ops activating Johan's wet works protocol? We honestly couldn't ask for a better friend, and that's in quotation marks and italics and underline. And, and there's a bunch it. of upside down triangles in it. So we hope that a special is that Illuminati. Yeah, it's maybe the Illuminati. Uh, we hope that a special shout out from the Brothers Macro will make your day. Happy 18th birthday. We love you. You think anyone, has anyone ever made a porn called Illuminati? Like the word naughty? And it's like a bunch of like people in robes and maybe some of them are lizards and then they fuck. I would watch the hell out of that. Yeah. Of course but you would. From an academic kind of perspective? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And also you're a stonemason. <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> johan we're very proud of you you're, so you, proud you're living so right got another birthday from for emily brunston you have a birthday for her i have a birthday for her to offer her please accept this birthday emily brunston it's from avital and julian uh avital maybe avital it's a lovely name um i'm i'm sure it, however happy, however you however interpret you it, it, it you, you really can't mess that one up you can't avital. fuck that name up avital any way you say it, it's beautiful. Happy birthday, Dumbleton's dog. Sending this message is cheaper than buying people off to ensure that Mad Men ends in a full-blown orgy like you richly deserve. Instead of measuring the next year in love, which is weak and filthy, may you measure it in delicious dips, corgis, and days at the office without a visit from Probot, the probing robot. And I, I think there was a series of I would I would I would I would assume in jokes there. I, I think they're, they're not no pro, Probot's a thing. Probots a thing? Are yeah, he's a, a, what, is that a... There's a robot that just, like, gets in there and, like, makes sure everything's okay. What about corgis? Those are fake. Those are fake. Okay. I knew that there was something something messed up in there. Uh, happy birthday, Emily. We hope it's a great one. Um, yeah. We're very, very happy for, for you. That you, It sounds like you have a pretty sick life. Sick in a good way. Um, sick in a good way. <laughs> should we do some, like, housekeeping? Thank you all for... We got so much amazing feedback for, for the Adventure Zone. The, the D&D episode we did last week, um, we're, we're going to figure out a way to continue doing those, not 
I think, I mean, based on what we talked about, not on, on the Mabim Bam feed, as it were. You think this is all safe to talk about? Yeah, I think so. This um, is our plans as they stand right now. Not not a Mabim Bam thing, but maybe a separate thing? Maybe. Maybe? The people we're, seem to like it. We're figuring it out. It. Um, so, so yeah, thank you all for the, the feedback. In the, there's actually in the Facebook group, which I don't know if you've been on there recently, has been like popping off. Go go check it out. We'll, we're usually pretty quick about letting people in. It's a closed group, so haters can't just hop in. Um, Sometimes spammers, spammers hop in, they do trick me. to sell they glass. trick us to get in. We'll yeah. kick them out though. Um, but yeah, there's like a, a lot of really good feedback on like what we could do better. Some good ideas for like what a D and D podcast could be. So thank you all very 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 much for that. Hope you're enjoying the LA live show. It was a hoot. Um, we're figuring out our. Our plans for next year, we're going to do, here, spoiler alert, we're going to do a shit ton of live shows in 2015, um, basically all over this beautiful nation of ours. So look forward to that. Um, do you think we'll be back? We'll probably be back next week, right? I would imagine. Yeah. Um, my baby can't hold my attention for that long. That's true. Um, Especially with all these fucking dad jokes I'm cooking up for you. Yeah, no, you're, you're in heat right now. We can't waste. Dad joke heat. We can't waste a second of this. All right, uh, we're going to get back to the show, but... Um, thank you all for being so wonderful, and uh, yeah, more more episodes, more regular stuff next week. God bless. God bless. Hashtag bless. Hey Griffin, you could tilt your mic down a little bit if it. Yeah, it seems I'm like really having like, to get up on it. Just like oh. angle it. There we. go. Oh, if only. Here we go. What? Who's laughing? <laughs> oh, like a dick thing. Oh, like a dick thing. Oh, like a dick. Th- oh, like a dick thing, guys. It was a dick thing. Great. No, it was actually very good. Well done. <laughs> How about another question? Uh, when did we start? Hey, let's take a question from the audience. We, yeah, what time should did we? we start? Uh, Who's got like a great question? This, well, hold you got to be quicker on the draw. Uh, Drew Davenport, do you have a question? Yeah. Sorry, fuck everybody else. Drew Davenport, get back up here. <laughs> All right, Griffin has a glass. He doesn't get to keep the can, too. Come on now. I need a. We I mean, got to conserve our rations. rations. We're in a riot. Hey, everybody, situation. it's Drew Davenport. <laughs> Woo! You, yeah, there you go. Angle yeah, yeah. it up, you giant man. Yeah. And turn it a little bit so you can face it. Yeah, look at us now. Now make eye now contact with Griffin. Look at me now. Me only. Go ahead. <laughs> so, listen, Drew, it's just me and you. <laughs> Open your heart and let us climb inside, Drew. Uh, this is from a conversation I had on the way here with okay. my girlfriend. Terrific. Is it okay to put groceries in a truck bed and drive home? Oh, no, it's oh. not. No. <laughs> It depends. Wait, wait, what groceries? Huh? Yeah, if it, they're super slimy. If it's a lean cuisine, a lean cuisine is a little, like, self-preserved little, yeah. like, pocket of amazing food. If you put, like, a head of lettuce in there, it's going to be gone by the time you get home. Just the microbes in the air will just dissolve Yeah, it. if you've got, like, a dense food, sack of potatoes. Sack of potatoes, safe. that's okay. Um, uh, the floury <laughs> foods and artichoke. Paper towel roll? Oh, no, paper no, towel no. roll is done. Except floury foods, except flour, because if that bursts back there, that's your week. That's your yeah. whole week That's that your point. week. You're, you are and no longer driving. You are making a roux. Do you own a truck? <laughs> she owns a truck. She owns a truck? It's her yeah. truck. Don't, well, don't, I think she gets to call the shots here, Drew. So f- <laughs> Drew, wait, are you pro or against? Oh, I'm pro. Uh-huh. You want to put the, you want to put your food out in, yeah. hold on, just so I'm clear, uh, if, if I took all the food that you have in your house and I somehow held it in my giant arms <laughs> and then I ran down the street at 55 miles an hour for, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes and then I came back to your house and I said, eat all this now, <laughs> you would be like, mm, yum, yum, give me some. Can we, wait, hold on. One more game. Can we jump back to 30 seconds ago when we loved Drew? <laughs> I, I, I love Drew and I want to keep him f- food safe and food smart. <laughs> Everything in there's got E. coli, it's got bird flu, it's got bird shit on it. It's probably got birds. It's got live birds in there. You got a bad case of birds. You got Plas- birds. Plastic bags, you tie up. That's yeah. not... Uh, yeah, think Drew, that's, that was our okay, problem the whole time, Drew. You really uncorked it. Did you see that, uh, that virus... Before we thought of bags... That virus m- movie where Gwyneth Paltrow got like fucking wrecked in like the first fifteen minutes, and they were like, "Guys, don't worry, just like get some plastic grocery bags and just like wrap that around your shit for like a, a, like fifteen minutes." And the movie was like a half hour long because like that <laughs> fixed it, that did it. That was the that was how that movie ended. Super quick, don't even think about it. Tell me the dirtiest thing you've ever put in your truck bed. Go. I don't have a truck. 
Okay, the dirtiest thing that your girlfriend's ever put in a truck bed. Help him. Dearest? He's, he's bombing. A carcass? An animal carcass? <laughs> an animal carcass? I just assume. You a big deer hunter? I'm stigmatizing. Oh, God. What? That's everything you... Okay, and when was this? Give me a, a rough timeline. When was this? Okay, so for six months, you've been eating couch Craigslist food. You've been eating the ass of the person you bought the couch from on Craigslist. Is imagine that okay? The, imagine the dirtiest person this you can think of. This salad is like... Crazy! Yeah. It tastes. It's not. <laughs> Do I detect a hint of Craigslist? Ass? It's not good, but it's not bad. <laughs> imagine it the, was cheap. Imagine was the sweet. dirtiest stranger you ever met reached underneath their couch and retrieved a hot pocket. Yeah. They then handed that hot pocket to you and said, "Here, stupid, eat this. Eat these. <laughs> and you eat were these like, Craigslist." Croutons. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. This is great. I'm so excited about eating this that you retrieved for me. That's your. That's been six months for you. That's six months. I hugged. I fucking hugged you earlier. That was a bond of trust. I hugged you, trusting that you didn't have Craigslist mouth. And that's where we are. These are all hypotheticals. Yeah. Oh well, then it's totally. Oh. Oh, well, then oh. I guess I did. Then we're fine. I guess we're cool. Good job, Drew. Drew Davenport. Drew Davenport. Drew Davenport. Fucking savior of the podcast. Where did that full anger go? Uh, regular question. Here we I go. I got a real last question. Corinne, are you here? Corinne? Or Can we keep the Corinne? chatter down in the audience maybe for this? We're just we're it's doing, our trying, show, to, not yours. trying to do a show up here. Um, Corinne? Corinne? Okay. All right, okay, she's here. Raise Corinne your hand, says, Corinne. You don't have to come down. No, you're, you don't have to come Wait, down. Yeah, she's coming. It's fine. Oh, no, okay, you're No, halfway. no, come on out, Corinne. Yeah, you're halfway here. We oh, don't yeah, no, leave. this is a good one. Just stand, on stand in the aisle for the whole time. No, Corinne. No, no, no come no, here. No, come no, on no, to the no, microphone. No, 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 I'm no, fucking no. with you. As a f- Corinne, this is one of those questions that you did not give us nearly enough details. Okay, Travis, go. Corinne well, writes. This I, is perfect because she's like five feet away. So just move your mouth up and down, Corinne. It's Travis Reed. This will be great. I teach in an art school, and I hate all my students. Woof. <laughs> let's not say, hey, let's make a pact not to say Corinne's last name. Yay. Yay. How can I not hate my students? Super best, Corinne. I have to say, Corinne's in a bad situation, because if you yeah. want to not curry favor with me, here's the number one thing you do. You give me art. And then you ask me what I think of it. <laughs> You know the only art I liked? Wayne's World the movie. (laughs) I haven't liked And Wayne's World the movie related art. And Wayne's World the movie if you want to give me a framed cell uh, from the original cut of Wayne's World, I'd be into that. (laughs) Can you give can you give us an age window to imagine imagineer Um, with? I teach at a private college. Oh, Oh, okay. So like adults. Yeah. Not like six year olds, at which point you go, Yeah, this is great thing. Yeah, Yeah. totally. Like adults you can go, no shit. Yeah. Can can we get some detail on what it is? Is is it is it a um, nude uh, class? No, come on. Uh, actually, I do. I do teach life drawing. Okay. That's okay. One so, of the classes I teach, yeah. is that kind of why you hate them? Because there's obviously like some dudes getting there with some like some some future jerk material. Do they, do they woo? Do they woo? Like, do they woo? Do they like, like, safe, like they're on the, the fucking set of Saved by the Bell? Like, I'm yeah. Pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you Yahoo, you are asked to leave. Corinne's yeah. feelings on you as a person There's have not no a free strike policy. No, I'm pretty sure. Steve, need Bush. Twice. Keep it down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I need this. I get so excited when I, I get see. excited when I see a neat Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Are we close? I'll be honest. We have many conversations in the beginning of class uh, where I have to tell them, like, you know, if there is an erection or a fart or. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. No, I just did the thing that you hate, probably. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's because you know what I love is that you said erection, which is like such a proper way, or a fart. And I was, and I, that made me so happy. Corinne, if you could make farts not funny, I'm going to name you the president of magic. <laughs> I will follow you around like, like fucking... And be fishers of men. <laughs> yeah, That's right, exactly. We w- I will win people to your cause because you are a wizard. I, I tell them that farts are funny and that's Indeed. okay. If, you need, Do, to, does, does if anybody... you need to laugh, like, just leave the room and laugh. Have you ever had any smart, ass, any smart ass students that tried to, <laughs> to paint the fart? <laughs> tried or, to paint the fart like onomatopoetically. <laughs> Brap. Yeah. 
You've done really great work on the chest muscles here, Brett. You've done, you're really coming along as a student. You did make it say fart with five R's. In but like, the shading is spectacular. And the, the font was like a stinky green cloud, and that was, I'm not going to lie, like it was a good stinky green cloud. It's just the subject matter of it was troubling Brett. Stop, this is my kid uh, tonight. You're killing me. <laughs> I mean, the most troublesome poses are when um, the model decides to do, like, a Captain Morgan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Um, like a look of Matane. Yeah. Or a... uh, well, it's actually typically women that take that pose. Men like to do, like, the drop down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the touchdown hang. dance. The yeah. touchdown dance. Yeah. I like to do the, the cover em ups. Is that a pose? That's <laughs> I like to do the stay in the hallway and refuse to come in the room. <laughs> this, I'm scared. I changed my mind. Is that a pose? I changed right? my mind. I do the, uh, you can keep your $25. I do the why can't they just paint my jeans <laughs> while I'm wearing them also. Why don't students need to get good at painting jeans? I do the aren't jeans art too? <laughs> I've seen a lot of dong paintings, I haven't seen a lot of good jeans paintings. I don't think Van Gogh had a jeans face. Let's tackle that subject next. Let's cross boundaries together with these dungarees. It's very avant-garde, yeah. Yeah. It's very avant-garde. So is that, okay, we've been talking about dicks for like 30 minutes now. What is it that you actually don't, aren't so crazy about? Is it, is it really dongs and ere- like erections and parts um, and stuff? There's just a lot of like, you know, people don't want to be enthusiastic about things. Yeah. And that makes you hate your students as a teacher. And I think that crosses all. Subject Real quick, matter. they're paying to be there, right? Yes, yeah, they're paying a yeah, lot of money. That's gotta be, be fresh. Good work, everyone. Yeah, yeah, great job. Way to go, higher education. I um I could see how that would be frustrating. I would say though, Krim, it might be a case of them just not want I would be so terrified to just do it wrong or have people think that I looked at the naked person wrong. Yeah. Or looked at them too hard. Or too hard. I would be constantly averting my eyes. You would probably get a very disengaged vibe from me, I would think. <laughs> If I was in your class and you brought in a naked man to draw, that I would draw him. I would make it. I would make it fleshy and smooth like a Ken doll down there, because <laughs> I wouldn't know. That's a thing. We no, call I, that the Ken doll. Okay, I wouldn't yeah. know if I, if I was supposed to draw a dick, and if I did, <laughs> then you'd be like, "Chris, I'm very disappointed in you." Especially you, if it's like just kind of a stick figure man, but a very precise, detailed right. dick. So maybe it's not that your students really are dead on, right? Maybe it's not that I your could, students... I could pick that out of a, like a lineup. Sure. Maybe it's, it's a less of a case that your students aren't... Maybe your students aren't, aren't... Hold on. Let me figure out the sentence structure. Okay, I think I've got it. Maybe your students are enthusiastic. They're just scared that they're going to paint a dick and you'll be very disappointed. And so maybe you need to be very explicitly clear about what it is that they're supposed to draw. Like I expect out of their penises. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. say, like, if you want to go, like, bathing, hog. bathing suit area... Out, up and down. Start there if you want to really explore the space and do what feels comfortable to you. If you want to draw the dick, I'm not going to be disappointed in you, Griffin. Great job. <laughs> yes. Some teaching tips. Thanks. That's the least we can do. Everybody give a big hand for Corinne. Thank you, Corinne. Woo! Thank you. Got one of Yahoo Answer? Woo! Yeah, I'm into that. Uh, this Yahoo Answer was sent in by Alan Black. Thank you, Alan Black. A uh, very prolific contributor. So that's about yeah, who answers user Slick Ninja 360 who asks. Should be good. Should be pretty good. Would it be illegal to go into the middle of a forest and build a maze, forcing people to traverse it upon entry? <laughs> I guess yeah. I guess that's pretty good. Upon entry, the entrance would close. It would have spikes on the walls tops. To keep them from escaping. I was also thinking of having booby traps and things like that. Once they find the exit, they could leave. I don't know about illegal, but logistically it seems like an yeah. issue. Yeah, you're going to have to have some Is fucking... Is it a motorized gate or yeah. like a magical it grows it's over gonna when they walk through? It's going to be a fucking through. Pan's Labyrinth I, Magic Moss. I will say, if we can't fix gun laws, but we have been thorough enough to figure out our forest maze laws... <laughs> I'm going to be very disappointed in our nation. If you, if, if you own the land, and this is troubling because I'm agreeing with the Top Yahoo uh, response to this, but if you own the land, you can build a maze wherever the fuck you want. 
I don't know that you can corral people into that's, it. That's, that's where you run into You can leave a trail of peppermints. There's yeah. no guarantee. This is the beautiful thing about it. If you force people to do it, highly illegal. Yeah. If you offer people the opportunity do to do it, come highly my, profitable. Yeah. Do you want right. to I can't like I, I, I just bought a house and I feel like I have total agency over it. I do not think I can invite friends in and then lock the door and then swallow the key and say, I will let you out as soon as you solve my puzzle of flesh. <laughs> And then I would show them my flesh puzzle. Here, here's the funny thing about luring. Wait, I would quick. bet is the flesh puzzle your genitals? <laughs> That's my balls. Yeah. Okay, it's your okay. balls. I would bet that eighty to ninety percent of the people in this room, if you stumbled upon what you were guaranteed to be a solvable forest maze. That would risk- lock you in, and you would you would fucking die if you couldn't solve it. If that's a big if, Griffin. How many of you would say? All right. Yeah, I'll tackle this bitch. This Let's... is everything I've ever trained for. Yeah, Every, this is what I've everybody been raise your hand. Be honest, if you stumbled upon a Pan's Labyrinth, this is you serious. would not. Okay, there's a lot of people okay, not raising their hands. You would risk your lo- all those years of playing Professor Layton games are finally going to pay off. You're going to solve this shit. Sherlock Holmes. A lot of Sherlock Holmes I think games. Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Um, the Goblet of Fire game. It was so well, good. Well, you play it in your head where you go, I would have sure. gone left. Yeah. I would have slain the basilisk. How That's would, what that you was in like. book one, Sorry. Dick. Two. Oh, fuck. shit. Fuck. Fuck. Keep it to yourselves. What, um, what would lure you into... Okay. What would lure me into a forest maze? The, uh, seeing the opening of a fucking forest maze. <laughs> right? You got it. What if it's a risk of your life, though? I don't want... You know what? The fourth verse of Tim McGraw's Live Like You Were Dying... Directly references. I went into every forest maze I saw. I think. I heard a pan flute beckoning me in. But there was gold doubloons at the end. Spike traps weren't scared me away. Have you ever heard that song? Have you ever heard the song? (laughs) I'm not great with melodies. That's actually, I was singing the harmony. I thought someone would join in. Uh, what else we got? Let's do another audience question. Yeah, how about another, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, there's something about people and me in the front row. It's very intense. Come on up. You're on the front. Yeah, we'll do a front, a front. Wait, front you row. raised your hand. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, you can come up. Come it's up. just, you raise your hand. You can't say shit when we pick oh, you. Oh, shit. Me? You, uh, you walked into this forest you maze. Volunteered. Now it's your time to get out. What's I your name? Volunteer. My name is Linda. Linda, Hi, no Linda. bummers, Linda. No bummers, no bummers. Here we go. No bummers. Should I have another baby? What? <laughs> For dinner? Hey! Hey, come on. Come on. How many are you? It how many? into my head. How many are you up to? I have two kids, and they're nine and 14. Boy or girl? Oh. What? Hold come on. on. Can you fucking Let's get chill? Some fucking more hey, information. everybody. You don't know Linda's deal. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> Leave some for the rest of us. Linda, boy or girl? 14-year-old boy. You're trying to start a highlight girl. team or something? Come on. And, and my new husband doesn't have any. Have any. Oh, Ooh, see? Oh, yeah. now, well, now two people who... No, boo. That was you a second ago, and now you have this new information. You're like, mm, it's a noodle scratcher. <laughs> Is your is your hubby like uh, gung ho about it? Does he want to have a kid? He he's very pleased to to make me happy, but he would sure. love a baby. Sure, ah, yeah. then you got to do it. Are you into? <laughs> no, come on, stop it. Okay. Are you are you in, are you into the idea? I mean, that's ultimately like the only. It's scary, literally but the I would only. love to have the support of a wonderful man. Sure, sure. isn't it nice though that you got the fourteen awesome. year old to babysit? That's true. I mean, that's built, built that's in. Not that's a bad, nice. Yeah, it's not a bad point. Like, you don't get that. Like, Justin, six. Me, three. Griffin, like, three months old. There wasn't, like, Justin, you got this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> don't. You're shoving a cold kid cuisine down his throat. <laughs> oh, he died. Great work, six-year-old. I guess you did. The first did time it. I babysat, I was 12 years old, and I microwaved a pot. Because <laughs> I was trying to make rice pudding from a recipe for book for kids he went for, in my defense a recipe book for kids should have clarified the proper cookware that's all i'll say they'll know right yeah they'll, they'll, they'll know. know they'll know it's they'll, it's it, it's 19, it already went to print fuck it <laughs> it's 1992 they'll know right uh i mean you do you want like a pros and cons list like pros like <laughs> that this 
could be like the super successful kid. This one, you might not have had the super successful kid. You might not have had the, the Bill Gates yet. I don't know anything about your other two children. They might be very bright, but they might not are be Are they Bill losers? Gates. Are they, no, they're are they here? <laughs> they're brilliant and wonderful. Okay. Well, okay, they're not shit. here, Linda. Be then cool. it feels All greedy right. to me, Linda. It feels, feels a little greedy. What if you're? What if what the, if reason the third one's your Ender? No. Oh, oh my shit. god! What if the reason they've been so great so far is because you have exactly enough energy to raise two great kids? What if at this point you're dividing your labors and you're going to get three? Eh. Our parents had two at one point, and they were awesome. They were going. Everything was going so well. Hey, if it weren't for me, the show would be called My Brother and Me, and We'd it, have some Nickelodeon issues. would be very litigious in that regard. Um, I've got to have the griffin. Yeah, you have to have me. (laughs) Terrific. Linda, there is literally not a single piece of information I need to answer this question that I would feel comfortable asking you. (laughs) (laughs) I literally cannot get any of the facts I need to solve this problem for you. And and just to clarify, once we answer this, it is binding. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. We are literally deciding the existence of a human being right now. Will you name that child after us? Oh, shit. By which I mean <laughs> name it, the Brothers Mac. Oh, okay. <laughs> the baby. Yep. The baby, the movie. Dot org. Dot org. Dot org. Hashtag. I say you, you put the hashtag it. at the end of the web address, right? That's how I that. Wait, okay. I just Linda. want a blanket decision. Do you okay. want to do it? Linda, do you want to do it? Look at me, Linda. Look do you want to do it? Be honest. Linda, look at all three of us in the eyes. All six eyes. Six eyes all at the same time. Stop, Linda. Do you want to do it? I want you to decide. No, fuck that. Come on. I'm not gonna push it out of my body, Linda. Oh, I did it. Yeah, Linda. I wish I could for you because I'd love to feel what it's like to bring life into the world. Anybody have a coin? Yeah. Linda, our level of involvement with, with our child will put most deadbeat dads, make them look like heroes. Like, we are not going to be involved in the raising of this child whatsoever. I am not tying myself to an answer on this show. Okay. This well, show you serious. asked, I'm Linda. thinking of a number ah. between one and two. Guess it. Two. It was two. That means you have to have the baby. Congratulations, Linda. She's having a baby. I feel pretty weird about that one. I just created a human life. I am unto a god. All right. What else we got, guys? How long have we been going? We've been going About for hour? three and a half hours. Feels that way sometimes. Do you want a Yahoo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, we, got, uh, we got a couple more. We got Come one. on. We Come on. These more. people waiting for a this... show. We're going to give them a show. Woo! Why am I we just it? created a human life. What the fuck else do you want? More fart jokes? We just created a person. You guys need to get your priorities straight. This Yahoo was sent in by Charlene. Thank you, Char or Charlene. Uh, it was asked by Yahoo Answers user Kayla, who asks, does this seem like a good PowerPoint to show my parents convincing them to help me get a horse? Click, click. Slide one. Horses are awesome. Click, click. Hey, done. your joke is exactly what's in the bit. Title, what I want most in life. Sure, yeah. No, what everyone wants most in life, really, for being honest. Next slide content. Wait, time out. We talk about horses a lot. Yeah. Go on. Sorry. Yeah. New people. If you're a newcomer, horses, thing, it's okay. just cheer when everyone else does. I don't think we talk about them more than, like... Anyone should? Normal people. Like, people normally talk about horses. They're pretty great. Animal, yeah, right? They're pretty majestic. They're the best. They're pretty solid. Next slide contents. <laughs> Asking them to stay silent during the presentation. <laughs> Moms, dads, Mom, keep your dad, shit down. Turn your fucking cell phone <laughs> off. It's business time. I worked on this for a half a fucking Can hour. Can you close Pinterest for a second? For like a second. Pause frozen. Next. Pause Amanda. Close Pinterest. <laughs> Next. Some photos of horses along with words. All caps. A horse. So just fucking laying down the foundation. That's good. The ground, the equestrian groundwork. In case you were not aware, click, click, exhibit A. Exhibit A, a horse. A four horse. legs, hooves. What if that's all it took? Oh, that's a horse. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. That's basically yeah. the coolest no, you can best have thing How I've much? ever seen. Of course. $5,000 and then $5,000 a year? Yeah, totes. Totally, yeah. Uh, next, telling them how I've changed and I'm responsible enough to take care of horse. I killed the last horse. Listen, I know I, I fucked up changed. last year. Listen, that broke bad. I know I fucked up with Dad's Little Dumpling last year. <laughs> and, and I know that I fucked up the year before that with Dad's Little Dumpling Jr. 
wait, wait, the wait, junior wait. was predicated upon the fact that this horse was in fact going to die, and also <laughs> preceded its dad. It was a time traveling future horse. <laughs> no it was one, a special no one... horse. Listen, we had to act fast to buy that special, special time traveling horse. <laughs> what was the name again? <laughs> I forget already. Daddy's uh, little Dublin. Is that I what it was? So okay. much. It's a good name. I've changed though, and Seriously, I can do Daddy. it. Next, supplies and costs. <laughs> I've done my research. Check out this Excel spreadsheet. Does this get your blood pumping? The next one's my favorite. Uh, next, <laughs> money-saving tips and ideas. Mom, Dad, you've been sp- Listen, spending extravagantly. Diane, do you need all those clothes? I need a horse real bad for the third time. <laughs> we could cut our food budget, click, click, in half, fatties. Uh, next. We're ex- spending so much on oats. Our oats budget could... No, that's my mistake. That is not a typographical error. Our oats budget will drastically increase. <laughs> I believe it may have been uh, the bottleneck in the last two horse experiments. <laughs> Come to think of it, in retrospect, uh, 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 upon further reflection, our oat supply was, was an issue. Next, explain... Missy Little Dublin Jr. Next, uh, explaining the benefits to owning a horse, and then a pros and cons chart I put together. I bet the cons list is pretty fair. Cons, too great? Too main too smooth? <laughs> Will eventually die? In six months? Sorry, Dad. Again? Sorry about this. Our yard is full. Uh, next. Showing one horse I really want, and that would be perfect for me, then two others that would work great for me and I want. So... And they'll always know they were second and third. Always. Horses have a, a sixth sense for that stuff. Uh, next, a last side note. Well, I guess it'd be their fifth sense because horses don't have thinking. Yeah. <laughs> or taste. They eat some dumb shit. Though. <laughs> salt? What do you want? Salt. Great. No, good choice. Just salt then. Fantastic. Yeah. Per- excellent selection, Tom Colicchio. Perfect. Mm. You're just going to lick a big block of salt. Fantastic. Do you want that over a potato? No, just the salt's great. Thanks. Thanks. I'm good here. Hmm. This is going to give me running energy. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> great work, horse. Idiot. Stupid. Next. Get a job. Get a job, horse. Salt fiend. What's your sodium like? Next. A last side note. And telling them I don't want to hear anything about this topic until next week so that they can talk about it with each other and then look at the PowerPoint and think and whatnot. Do not, yeah. What the fuck? Thank We're you, drowning John. up here. We're Do drowning in John. sweet, Thank sweet you, cider. Do not rush to judgment, mom and dad. I'm going to, th- yeah, I think that's a fucking huge power that's move. That's a huge Last play. slide, click, click. Stay silent after the shut presentation. Shut your fucking mouth. Keep your phone silent and also keep your fucking mouth shut. Not until next Tuesday. Do that will be horse day. Do not speak to me. Click, click for a week. <laughs> Good night. You say that and we laugh at that. That's going to be just enough time for that sweet idea to, to ferment. Well, because night one is like, can you believe she Can you believe together? she did that shit for the third fucking time? Like, we would even do that next day. I think day. you were right. We should have another kid. This one's a bust. <laughs> this one sucks. Then <laughs> maybe three days later, it's like, you know what? I'm thinking about it, and we had some good times with that horse. And then <laughs> the next day, it's like, no, it died. And then the other one died, like, super fast. What are we thinking? Right. And then by the seventh day, that's when... God rested. What were we talking about? <laughs> um, this seems foolproof to me. It's pretty solid. If you have a foolproof plan for getting a horse and you've been sitting on for this long, I'm very upset with both of you. You gotta let me in on that stuff. How about uh, another answer, Travis? Question? Mm-hmm. How about, <laughs> I think... How's the show going? Should we do one more from the audience? Yes, we should. Yeah. Close to wrap of the time. Somebody far back, because I want... Oh, yeah, yeah, hold yeah, on. Sorry. sorry. Oh, okay, nobody back there has their hand up. That's fine. Anybody else? No, I see you. Yes, lady there. Yes, yeah. come on down. You're the farthest back person we could see. Yeah. Oh, no, we'll give J... Oh, JP, I'm sorry. Sorry about the prices are cheap. Hello. Thanks. My name is Jeannie, and um, Hello. my question is, so I have a cat who pees. Terrific. We all do. All cats <laughs> pee. Yeah. Cats pee. But um, go on. And because 
because of that, I can't have a couch, and I'm 20 something, so whatever. Right Hold now. the fucking phone one second. But does your couch be dissolved like couches? Have a couch someday. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Okay. It's like a big long chair. Genie, was it? Was it Genie? Yeah. I would like to have a couch someday. Not a dream you should announce in public. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to have a uh, kind of the perfect seating platform. <laughs> I'd like to solve this whole couch thing one day. Have you thought about finding a cheap couch that you can buy at wholesale that you can treat like a burner? <laughs> and you can have a burner couch that will last you for a month until the smell starts to overtake your your. Well, yeah, you have you thought about everybody? buying a box your cat could pee in? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, let's Sit workshop the, this. I want to hear the end game of Griffin's plan, where you have a couch designated for your cat to pee in. Basically. Well, no, you would also do a little bit of sitting in it from time to time. <laughs> Maybe a bit of lounging. Who, and is, who, who gets stuck sitting in the bait couch? When you, you, watch, you have to tape, put a line of tape down the middle and say, Cat, that half is yours. That's your this plan. Enjoy. Half is mine. Be cool. Um, when you watch Orange is the New Black, what do you even fucking do? Do you stand up and look at the TV? Like you're saluting it? That's what you... You're shaking your head yes. I stand up and look at the TV. What's your jam? Sometimes she just lays down on the hardwood floor. <laughs> Got a yoga ball. What's it's your sitting game like? Chair. Uh, so Classic wait. Oh chair. my god. Okay, so your cat won't pee in wait. a chair. It needs a lot of room to express <laughs> itself. <laughs> Is it like an inflatable plastic chair? I wish I had one. I considered it. That you consider getting like a plastic inflatable have chair you thought from about Spencer's a plastic gifts. Couch. This is such a nice furniture set. Yeah, it's from Spencer's gifts. <laughs> it came with the plasma ball. It looks super great. It came with all the novelty greeting cards with. Bikini babes on them. Jeannie, how old is your cat? Um, oh. She is two, but I'm so used to having, because I had cats before. Ornery pea cats. As yeah. Well. Jeannie, so. I got bad news. Two is real young. Yeah, that's a lot. If you had said of 13, I, I would have said stick it out. Stick it out. And then, uh, Travis, that's a bummer. Summer. I mean, I'm just saying, you got like another 13 years of pea soaked couch. Yeah. Maybe it's time for a more permanent solution. Let the cat explore the world. Yeah. Maybe that's an outdoor cat from now on. Cats, cats can't talk, and the only way they can ask for freedom is by peeing on your couch. Maybe that cat's saying, I think I can do this on my own. I caught a homeward bound on Cinemax last week, and that seems like something I could super get into. <laughs> Please open the door, or I'm going to keep peeing. If What's your favorite thing? Because I guess it was couch. <laughs> um, I read your journal about wanting a couch someday. And I want out. Uh, you made me feel guilty because I have two couches. I have three couches in my house. And you made me feel like I'm living some sort of life of extreme luxury that I don't deserve. <laughs> Does it not use the litter box? What's going on with your cat's whole deal? I don't know. Is she mad at you? Maybe she's mad that you don't have a couch? <laughs> Get a dog because those never pee anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's, isn't that why you have him neutered? Yeah. Yeah, Justin, that's exactly it. <laughs> Do you want this water spot? No, nah, I'm cool. I got neutered. So like, I don't up. even need fluids in my whole I mean, body. No, so I misspoke. <laughs> Super neutered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get in there. Go with a deep. Big, take it all. Let me just get in there with an ice cream scoop and really just like... Why is your cat crying? Oh, she's not uh, crying. She's super, super, super neutered. <laughs> she's eye peeing. Super neutered. It's basically eyes, lungs, fur. <laughs> and that's about it. That's about all that's going on in there. She's very agile, though. So that's, I guess, the best solution to get your cat skipped out, I guess. I don't know what else to tell you. Buy a couch not and my just problem. yeah, it's no. I mean, it is buy, definitely your problem. Buy a couch in every room, and you will have at least a while where she hasn't found one. Yeah, <laughs> she'll probably get in the jam of pee on one, and maybe you could put that in a bubble. Do you have any bubbles? Can you put like I a, asked a you a bubble. question whether or not you have bubbles. <laughs> what about a tarp? I wish I had bubbles. Yeah. Okay. Jeannie, you don't have a lot of things you want. Yeah. Jeannie, you have a lot of super achievable life goals, and I'm into that. I, I think that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. How are you feeling today, Jeannie? Like, super fulfilled. I met, like, two of the biggies today. It's going good with one trip to Rite Aid. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got a Rite Aid couch. It was great. 
Everybody big it up I for I don't Jeannie. know any better. Jeannie, everybody big it up for you. Uh, we should probably start moving. I feel to, like we've done our time. We probably do hey, a listen, wrap-up time. Uh, thank you all so guys, much. Guys, holy Los shit. Angeles. Thank You're you so, 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 so awesome. much. You guys are fucking amazing. Uh, we don't have anything to sell you. We had an accent. Travis's sad lib was not just a super fucking funny bit. Uh, we don't have we don't have anything because the post office fucked us again. Uh, but there are shirts. There's Max Fun shirts. There's Max Fun uh, uh, canteens out there. What are these? What are these called? Nail machines? Is that a nail? No, it's made out of it's metal. It's a water bottle. It's a fucking water bottle. Whatever. Uh, we, we, we do have some stuff, and we'll be hanging out out there after the show to say hi and take... Oh, bless you. Thank you okay? You. Thank you all so much for coming out. And Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Uh, please be careful out there. I'm genuinely concerned that it's going to be like... Rough. Fucking Mad Max. Um, so, so be careful. Don't let anybody steal your fuel. Sorry to interrupt past us, uh, but want to say thanks to Nature Box, where you can order great-tasting, healthy snacks. Get in shape for the summer. Well, I mean... For the early fall and late summer with healthy treats like BBQ kettle kernels and get 50% off your first order. Go to naturebox.com slash my brother. Uh, usually the way uh, what happens at this point is we thank John Roderick. Thank you, John Long Roderick Winter. and the Long Winters for the use of our theme song and to departure off the album. Putting the days to bed. <laughs> Fucking great. Great dude. We got to chat with him last week. That was nice. That was super cool. Super nice. Thank you um, to uh, the amazing Maximum Fun Network for having us. Thank you, amazing yeah, Maximum Fun Network. Thank you to Jordan and Jesse. Jordan and Jesse, Jordan. they did a fucking great job. Another round of applause for Jordan and Jesse. Go! Woo! And for Janet Varney. Thank you, Janet, Janet Varney. Thank you, everybody. You guys are so fucking great. You know what that final Yahoo? Uh, wait, how about a round of applause for yourselves? Oh, yeah, yeah give it up. Great. And you're hey, and how about another round of applause for Drew Davenport bringing the fucking yeah. heat? Yeah, week in, week out. Griffin, hit me. This final Yahoo answer was sent in by, mm, let me think about it, Drew Davenport. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's, by, uh, it's in the Arts and Humanities section. It's asked by Moniz, who asks, who was John Candy? What did he do? Why is he important? <laughs> my name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad square on the lips. <laughs> now you can play the outro music. Yeah, this is the point. Or not, it's cool. Yeah. Maximumfun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Listener supported. Hey, feeling lonely? My name's Jesse Thorne. My name's Jordan Morris. Do you want to listen to a program where two good friends get intimate with amazing guests like Maria Bamford, Rob Corddry, and other comedy superstars? Jordan Jesse Go is here for you. Every week we'll spill our guts for you and then make some jokes. Jordan Jesse Go, free at MaximumFun.org. 